Hello again YouTube, this is Pure2306, aka BW Angelos, and today I'll be bringing you a single player campaign video tutorial thingy. <laughs> I had a request to play uh, a campaign, and uh, well, here, here we are. I was requested to play as Sweden, but Sweden is far too easy, so I decided to play as Austria, which have the weakest units. You can see it's playing played in hard, long campaign, let's get it started. Okay, and we're back. Right, I want to try and get this under 10 minutes for the first few turns, um, so the less random chit chat the better, really. Okay, so here we are, this is the Austrian Empire, uh, as it is at the time of uh, when the campaign starts. You have one port at Trieste, which you want to keep open, uh, and you want to keep that trading, so uh, strengthening naval trade is a good place to start. The Marafas, um are the best to trade with. You're, you're trading, uh, you're allied with England, I should say, but uh, trading with them is pretty um, pointless. And trading with the Mughals is also pointless because uh, they get pawned by the Marafa quite quickly. Okay, you don't want to be trading with anyone else because that's land trade routes and they don't like you, so they'll just say, pay us a lot of money. This guy likes us, so let's uh, trade with him over land trade. And we still have to pay him, the stringy bastard. <clears throat> yes, we have to pay our own protectorates to trade with us. That makes sense. Okay, right, so let's ca carry on. Have a look around the map. Got a farm there that needs building. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to do this in sort of random order. A priest, totally useless unit. Uh, if you just hover your mouse over, you can see, uh, you can see like 79% Catholicism, 39, 40, but if you look here, it's zero. So 0% zero Catholicism, that's where he's needed. Right, that's the priest out of the way, totally pointless unit. Okay, now let's get, uh, well, it's not pointless, but you know. It's like the priest in the other, it's like in priest in medieval Total War, uh, medieval 2 Total War. In their pointlessness. Okay, so, um, send your, you want to send your gentleman to the school, and then you want to start researching technology. I suggest empiricism, as it allows a faster technology research rate, and allows you to improve your school to a college. Why? Be, why would you want to do this? Uh, it's because you are an absolute monarchy, and uh, research goes at a much slower pace. Okay, now I uh, just brought this up to show you the government. Here's the head of the government, Leopold. He's got some nice traits, making him one of the better uh, overall commanders at the start. I remember one of them has something like jibbles, like a jib jibbles. What the hell's jibbles? Uh, uh, what the hell's the word? Um. <laughs> Uh, garbles or something like it, like an insane person. Like that's a trait he's got. This is a really, really brilliant trait for a uh, for a leader. Okay, so let's have a look at. Uh, no, let's actually hang on. Let's carry on with the government. I should say. As you're, you're an absolute monarchy, you can move your uh, heads of state around uh, and switch them. So let's have a look. You can't do that with others. Uh, like can't do that with constituents. Constitutional. Constitutional. <laughs> there, the other monarchy. It's a late, late night for me. Don't expect me to be able to pronounce things properly. And, um, yeah, and republics. And, uh, okay, here we go. So we want to switch him with him, because you can see it goes from four to five. He's got the trait something of a banker and honest, which makes him good at the uh, as the head of the treasury. Patron, bon vivant, morally impaired tactician. I don't really like morally impaired people, but he balances himself out quite well. Harsh reputation tactician. Replace the tactician with a harsh reputation and tactician. <laughs> Whilst we got harsh reputation pious, we have honest and status quo. We'll switch him with him, and we'll switch him with him. You can see how the stars are improving as I'm getting people who are, who are better suited to the job. Okay, so he's honest and status quo. That makes it one, minus one happiness lower classes, plus one happiness nobility. If we have a look at all the other stats, minus one happiness lower classes, minus one happiness lower classes. Yeah, well, to be honest, we need someone to balance that out. Bon vivant, one plus one to lower classes, plus one to lower classes. Replace the head. Doesn't make any difference to the stars, but it'll uh, increase public order. Okay, so there we go. That's the um, that's the government sorted. Right, now let's have a look at the generals and their prophetic armies they have at the start. Pikeman, useless unit, get rid of them. Uh, provincial Cav, useless unit, get rid of them. Uh, Pikeman, useless... Pandora is useless. Everything that looks useless, just get rid of it. Don't worry about leaving your bases undefended. You won't get attacked. Well, you will get attacked probably, but they won't send an army. They'll just attack you. Like diplomatic attack. Okay, we're not going to make any attacks with a demi cannon over that way, so disband the demi cannon as well. That's what I do. You don't have to disband that demi cannon. 
uh, but I'm not intending to move any troops, uh, like bolster an army over there, so. And the demi cannon will take ages to move. Uh, right, more pandas. Okay, <laughs> uh, now. Right, so basically we now want to station militias in every garrisonable town uh, so we can uh, s start um, building our armies up. We want a militia defence in every town. It's the cheapest thing and it uh, maintains public order. Okay, we need two militia to, because we've only, we haven't got enough at the start of the turn. So we'll recruit one here and one here. Okay, that'll, that's... that's uh, what the hell? Where's he going? What the hell? I did not click that, did I? You stupid bugger. Oh god, honestly. You go there, you go there, you go... God, bloody hell, what's happened there? Click too fast. Okay, there we go. Right, so now we've got a militia setting up in every town. Uh, we have a spy here. Uh, I won't use him if in this turn. I'll explain more about spies and, and what to do with them later on. Uh, if, if everyone's interested, of course. Okay, now we get to building now. You want to be looking for... Uh, well, the way I do things... Uh, there's two ways of you can do this. You can go an economical drive first, going straight for our... Straight for stuff like craft workshops to improve uh, money income. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a military governor's barracks. Why? Because otherwise I can't recruit any decent cav. All I can recruit is provincials, which I can't even recruit them. I can only recruit them there and yeah, just there uh, and they're crap can't stand up to anything but if we look at what happens when we build a military governor's barracks here uh, you can see Hungarian Hussars and Hungarian Grenadiers, Uhlans, Carboners a whole range of cav gets uh, opens for us so that's the best place to start right we got 3400 um, okay what should we do should we spend that on a yeah let's spend that on a weaver's cottage we can get some more money that way uh, and what else? 1,000. 1,000. What should I spend 1,000 on? Hmm. You know. I can spend that on a nice shopping trip. Uh, instead, I'm going to buy a barracks. God, I sound like a girl on a nice shopping trip. Eh? Right, okay, now that's uh, buildings out of the way. Oh, bollocks. I need that back. Give me that back. Forget everything I just said. I forgot to recruit my next army for the next turn. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got uh, that's been recruited. We want two more line to be recruited. And there we go. Got no money left at the end of that turn, that's brilliant. So we, we're recruiting two line to bolster our army, uh, two militia to station the, and garrison the towns. Uh, got our army setting up. That went haywire. That should not be there, but you never, you know, it will all be fine. Uh, that's about it, really. Got governors in every city. And uh, we're ready for the next turn. Oh, and don't recruit naval ships at the port because they have to pass through the Mediterranean and pass by the Barbary States. And the Barbary States will just loot and pillage every ship you send out, which will be quite expensive for you in the long run. And uh, I don't suggest doing it until you've taken one of the more northern ports and you can get out uh, to the trading colonies uh, in a slightly more safer manner. Yeah. Hopefully you won't be at war with every single European nation. By the, by the time you capture a northern port, otherwise you stand screwed. Okay, so that's basically covered everything that you want to do for the first turn. Uh, and I think I'll, I might skip the next few turns. And when I've got a decent army, uh, I might not. Depends if the AI attacks me in the first turn. Okay, until next time.